In this video, we're going to look at selecting and editing Foley type elements from raw recorded takes. Before we get started, let's take a look at a couple of helpful settings in the Pro Tools interface. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure that Tab to Transients is enabled. As we've discussed in previous videos, this changes the Tab key functionality so that when you press Tab, the Pro Tools cursor will automatically stop on Transients. The next setting you'll want to verify is the Nudge value. We're going to go ahead and set it to 1 millisecond. And now we're ready to edit. As you can see in my clips list, I have a variety of fully record takes. We'll go ahead and edit the footsteps on gravel. The first thing we're going to do is use tab to transients to tab up to the initial transient of the first footstep. And you can go ahead and audition that to make sure it sounds right. Then what we'll do is nudge back by a few milliseconds to make sure that we don't cut right into the transient. You may have to experiment a little to find out exactly how far back you'll need to nudge. In this case, I've already determined that I need to go back about three milliseconds. Next, we're going to use a trim command to trim the start of the clip to the current cursor position. There are several ways I can execute this. First, I can go to the edit menu and choose trim clip start to insertion. But an easier way is to verify that Command's Keyboard Focus is enabled, and then simply use the A key on the QWERTY keyboard. Then we can use Tab to Transients once again to move to the next footstep. And I'll go ahead and nudge earlier by 3 milliseconds once again. But this time, instead of using the Trim command, I'm going to use a Separate. And there are a couple of ways we can do that. You can go to the edit menu, separate clip at selection, or with commands keyboard focus enabled, you can simply press the B key. And this is the basic workflow that we use for most of the remaining steps. When I get to the seventh step, I'm going to trim once again, but this time I'll use a slightly different command. We could use edit, trim clip, end to insertion, or with commands keyboard focus enabled, I can simply press the S key. And now, as you can see, I've isolated six footsteps, three left and three right. Now we're going to add batch fades. We'll start by selecting the first footstep and then shift click to select the remaining steps. Then we'll open our Batch Fades dialog. We can either go to Edit, Fades, Create, or we can press Command F on Mac or Control F on Windows. Then the Batch Fades dialog will appear. The only settings we'll adjust are in the Operations section. The Create New Fades command is actually used to create crossfades, so we'll go ahead and disable that. We just want to create new fade ins and fade outs so that after we batch fade, each of our clips will remain an independent clip. Then we'll go ahead and adjust our fade length. Because we nudged back by 3 milliseconds, it should work well to enter 3 milliseconds as our fade length. Note that with such short fades, the fade shape is really not going to make any difference, so we can go ahead and leave it at the default. So I'll go ahead and press OK to create the fades. Now we can go ahead and audition all of the steps to make sure they sound good. If you're hearing a little bit of noise at the end of each clip, there's an easy way to clean that up. Just trim the end of the clip a bit earlier, and Pro Tools will automatically move the fade. If necessary, you can repeat that step for each of the clips that have any extraneous noise at the end. Our next step will be to consolidate each of the clips so that the fade will actually be rendered into the clip. To use the Consolidate command, I simply select one of my clips, and then I choose Edit, Consolidate Clip, or I can use Option Shift 3 on the Mac or Alt Shift 3 on Windows. Then I'll go ahead and consolidate the rest of my clips. If we zoom in on one of the clips, you'll be able to see 
that the fades have now been rendered into the consolidated clip. We need to do this so that our batch export command will include the fades.